Okay, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and in this second part of this tutorial we're going to be focusing on exporting a you know, 3D model in a .fbx file and then we'll be importing the, the .fbx file into Blender. So, we're just going to go ahead and in File tab here, we're going to go to the Export Options and it's where it says here FBX clothed character. Just gonna select that. <clears throat> then you're gonna see here um, different options. Um, first, you're gonna select the top one here, which says Maya. But of course, we're not using that. This is for different um, 3D programs here. We're gonna look for the one for Blender, which is the one I'm gonna use. Then down here in texture setting <clears throat> where you have this um, checkbox um, selected in embedded texture that means that when it export the the character the the textures are going to be within the the FBX file now if you don't check that then when you export the the model it'll it'll be Put, the texture will be put in a, in a separate folder for you to access them <clears throat> and that's what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna check that then I will come here and where it says include motion and go to costume and here I'm just gonna select the her pose because the the default pose of the of the models here are, are the T pose so if you don't select nothing here, then that's how they're going to show up when you import them in Blender like a T-Pose. Well, I'm just going to go and select there in the folder, in Character Creator 3 Template Motion. I'm just going to look for that Stand F that I selected early in, in the previous video. And then now, every, everything else um, remains the same, you know, default options here and then I'm gonna export it now I'm gonna look for the folder and I'm gonna export this uh, Starlight. and that's it of course uh, make sure because um, in the previous video I have mentioned that everything that you have to buy separate here all those packs and, and, and files make sure you're buying the ex export version because they had two versions if you if you don't buy the export version then you're not gonna be able to export this in you know FBX file and now we're done with this so now Let's go here, open Blender. In this video, I'm only going to focus only on, on on the texture, editing the textures, and then I'll, I'll keep doing all the parts so I don't make the video too long. So, first thing I'm going to do is save this file. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And, Say this file. Starlight. Then I'm gonna press one. Hold on, cause I I forgot to. Let me see. I know there's a setting here to be able to to so it will display the. The shortcut every time I press a key, but I, I can't just remember where exactly it is, so I, I apologize about that. Um, I'll figure it out for the next video. <coughs> so I will be pressing X to on the keyboard to delete this cube and pressing one on the notepad for the front view here. And I'm gonna go to file and I'm going to go import the FBX file here select here it is you know, in the folder that I saved it 
and it'll take a few seconds to to come up in the in the viewport and there she is and I'm gonna go to the material shading option here so you know we can see okay let's just hit a render here for a moment to see how she looks Yeah, it, it takes a, a, a while. Okay, this is how she looks in the rendering. Okay, notice I'm gonna first edit the you know, skin texture because she looks way too, you know, too white, and I want her to look a little bit more, you know, darker. So. In order for me to fix that, I'm just going to select the body. And for the material, we have different options because this is in here is you have the the head material, the body material, arm and leg. So I'm going to start with the head, and here in the node editor. I'm just gonna check the settings here. See, like for example, um, specular is in zero at zero. The roughness is a point six sixty eight. And normal map is point nine eight. The only thing I'm gonna be, you know, adjusting here is the specular. And give her some brightness, you know. And I'm gonna lower a little bit the roughness so she looks. Tiny bit shining. The point five five. See. <clears throat> now, in order for me to make her skin look more darker, I'm just gonna go to the add tab here, and on the color, I'm just gonna add a RGB curve here. Then I'm gonna add um, not here, and I'm gonna set this in the x um, value, 0.5, and then on the y value, 0.3. As you notice now that the skin got a little more darker, but now when we hit render, see, it doesn't really look that dark, but it looks pretty much a tone that I, that I kind of like. Okay. So now I'm just gonna do the rest for the for the body. Here. Point two. Point five, five. Come here. RGB. Important to save. Skin the same thing. The arm skin. Uh oh, what did I do? Thing in the arm. Okay. It's point five. Point three. We safe. Now, see. That's more like it. Now, I'm just gonna select her hair and make sure everything looks, you know, kind of like. In a way that I would like, I would lower this to point two. The, the this the specular. 
Same thing I would do with this 1.2. Everything else remains the same. Okay, now we select the jacket. And first I will put a specular here of 0.2. But you notice that the roughness here on this jacket is to zero. So this, this probably means that it's going to be very glossy. And since this is leather, I don't, I don't want it that glossy. So I'm just going to put like a 0.4. Oh well, this is this is actually for for the brass latches here. That's why I'm not seeing any changes. But that's okay, because I mean, I'm in the on um, the other videos, I'm going, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm going to be deleting all this. That's what I'm trying to say. So this one is where. See, you notice now when I raise the specular here, now it looks very shiny, and now. Uh, just gonna put that like a 0.4 and just gonna come here and select this settings here on the modifier properties so I'm just I just selecting that setting there Hold on. so when I go into tap mode here so it states there and I'm just gonna do shape move Shade and smooth this um faces here, so it doesn't look wrinkle. <coughs> now it's just gonna save because sometimes Blender crashes. We do a render testing here. See, that's how it's supposed to look. Now, if you notice the uh, corset behind it too, we need to edit that and and. Do um, adjusting the color a little more darker, and as well as the trousers. See, even though in the character creator three they look almost the same, and here in Blender it, it looks a different kind of tone of purple. So I may have to adjust that here. Okay. So for that, first of all, um, you notice that. In this material, you're gonna see a different type of other texture because it's using a, a PBR. But the thing is that I I have seen with Character Creator 3 and Blender is the way model looks in the Character Creator 3 is not exactly the way it looks in Blender. Um, so for that reason, I usually don't. I'll I'll end up taking this um you know textures like the the specular texture and in the alpha because then you know it's, it's gonna start you know displaying this like sometimes it'll display transparent or too bright and you know for that reason I, I rather put my own setting so I'm just gonna take this off and the specular off and then just gonna set it to point two and then the roughness here can stay about the same like 0.4 almost like like the leather see I need to no okay in this case because when I when I did the render before it looked so bright I'm just gonna add a hue saturation and now let me hit save I'm just gonna hit a render here to see and then I'm just going to de decrease this value here to make it more darker see right, right about that it's 7 ok that looks good now we're gonna select the, her trousers um, I'm not going to edit, you know, like like I say in the previous video. Like I'm just, I'm just going to cut this part here. I'm just going to do that in another video. So for now, I'm just going to adjust the textures. See if you notice the setting for this texture. 
So your specular is at 1, but I'm guessing if I lower to 0 0.2, boom, see? It doesn't look that bright. Still, I may have to add a, um, a hue saturation to still fix, to make it more darker. Uh, let me see, roughness. Roughness can go to 0.4, I'm guessing. Now I'm just going to add a hue saturation around 0.7. Save. I still think that, let me see, if I lower the saturation, now, I still think I should lower, lower a little bit. I'm just going to put 0 0.98. No? 0.95. Yeah, okay, I guess it looks nice like that. Oh, no. Okay, we save and we move on for the boots. See the same thing now. Uh, uh, a specular map here and, and opacity. I just take those off. Lower this to point two. The boots, they kind of like leather. So yeah, I'll put like the point four there. And let me see something. Let me see how that pink. Usually, I could lower a little bit of pink and make it darker a little bit too. So let's just add here a hue saturation. And yeah, I guess. Nah. I guess it'll be fine like that. Uh, I'm just gonna um, select this amateur armature, no amateur armature. <laughs> Sorry about that. And, <clears throat> and when it says viewport display here, where it says octahedral, I'm just gonna select stick, and then select in front. And that way, you know, we'll be blocking most of the character. Okay, now. <clears throat> I'm going to select the gloves. Now, if you notice, I don't know why. I need to figure out this, why it looks kind of like with, you know, this spots in here. I don't know what, what's causing that. What, is this a setting? The only way I have figured out to fix it is if I go here to the modifier tab and add a subdivision surface. And you're going to see that, yeah, see, it fixes it. Maybe the normals are not quite correct. I don't know. I will have to figure that out. So, the settings, you see, specular too high. And then the roughness, we're going to put 0.4. Let's see. Now let's do a render testing. Okay, moving on to um, Vembrace. Let me show, I'm not forgetting anything. I have the skin here, the jacket, reset, glove. Trouser, boots. Okay, I think this is the last thing. <coughs> um, let me just lower the roughness to 0.4. Specular, 0.2. So you notice that uh, it looks too bright. So again, just gonna add here hue saturation. Just gonna lower. 
increase the saturation and, and lower the value or oh, increase it right around there okay one point one okay This is the the leather part here. So for this part here, it looks like a metal part here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and create a new material with the same one with embrace. Except that now I'm just gonna select to add a new material like that same material I'm just gonna do a second one here see I'm just gonna change it to Vambrace 2 and then <coughs> see like look where it goes and all you have to do is on the R mature you select this two settings it'll be there <coughs> So I will be selecting this, this, and this part, the van brace, and also the this little um, what's it called? I even forgot how they're called. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> and I'm going to assign this the van brace material to. And now I'm just gonna um, edit the. This is a metallic. This is the metallic setting here. I'm just gonna put into one. I look metallic. I'm just going to boost the saturation so it looks pink and increase the value here. And then lower this to point two. I don't know, it looks too shiny, I guess. Point three. And now... See, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad at all. Okay, and for this video, I think she's done. For now. And... <coughs> On the next video, what I will be doing is um, the jacket, if you notice in the photo, see the two colors, I will be editing that and I will be cutting parts of the jacket here because, in, again, you see, that's what I did in the previous one. And cutting the trousers and fixing this you know and that will, that's what's going to be on the third part of the video so thank you for watching and if you like this video please um, hit the like button and subscribe thank you for watching